The search for a good camera bag can be fraught with pitfalls and false starts. But if you look long enough and hard enough, you just might find one that suits your needs. Is the Ace your next camera bag? I'm Adam Dowd with Board at Work, and this is our full review of the Ace by Douchebags. Now, before we get started, I need to mention that, yes, I said the name of the company correctly. The Ace is a backpack designed by a company called Douchebags. Personally, I find this to be hilarious, and it made me even more curious to find out what the Ace was all about. So let's dive in and see if this douchebag bag is for you. On the surface, you get a nice looking backpack made from PU leather. It looks like leather, but it's animal friendly. There are a number of utility loops on the front and side of the bags, which we will discuss more later. There are a lot of pockets, which is a must for any bag I'll consider. A nice sturdy handle adorns the top of the bag, and thin bands of PU leather with buckles and wide padding make up the backpack straps. Every pocket has a black zipper, and every pocket except one has a zipper lock bracket. Overall, the presentation here is quite nice. The inside of the bag is 100% gray polyester. Most pockets have smaller pockets within. Starting from the top, there is a flip open pocket with a pocket on the inside of that as well. The top pocket is nice and roomy and able to hold a nice set of headphones or even a portable battery. A wire mesh pocket is good for holding cables or even a phone. The front of the bag has a smaller pocket with a magnetic flap. This is good for holding a small book or tablet. The next pocket has two open pockets inside, each big enough to hold a Nintendo Switch and a zipper pocket that can hold a 10 inch iPad. The main pocket opens up on a bottom hinge and is pretty sizable. On the back, there's a laptop pouch good for a 15-inch laptop. There's also a very small pocket on the back of the backpack that I never really used and didn't understand the point of. Plus, a small pocket on the bottom of the pack holds a locking cable should you want to leave your backpack unattended for any reason. The main pouch of the backpack is just big enough to hold a nice padded camera gear bag like this one from Newer, link in the description below. Without the camera bag, it's roomy. It'll hold several days of clothes or documents or just about anything you'd put into a backpack. Plus, if you wanted to transport something longer or taller, the divider for the top pouch of the backpack is Velcroed in so you can remove it and get one big pouch instead of two smaller pouches. That's kind of neat, but it raises a security question. Every zipper on this backpack has a locking bracket built in that allows you to pass a zipper through and put on a padlock. The only zipper that doesn't have that bracket is the top pouch. Why that's missing is even more confusing when you consider that once this little pouch is open, only Velcro stands between you and the contents of the main pouch below. Seems like some wires got crossed there. I mean, the locking cable on the bottom of the backpack is long enough to stretch up to that top zipper to lock it, but that just seems like a clunky solution. The utility straps on the side and the front of the backpack are handy for carrying extras, like a tripod. You can add some Velcro straps or bungee cords and attach just about anything to them to carry them along. I also use these straps to hold on a battery pack for power on the go as well. There's a link to that in the description below as well. The backpack, even when not fully loaded, balances pretty well. The main pouch has a pretty low center of gravity, so it won't tip over very often. Even if you're like me and your days mostly consisted of tablets and computers while leaving the main pouch empty, this bag balanced pretty well. The backpack is comfortable enough to walk around with, though I dare say not quite as comfortable as cloth backpacks I've had in the past. Plus, I can't be sure how this backpack will feel with PU leather against bare skin on the warmer days since I live in Chicago and it's cold forever. I'm also not a fan of a single zipper on every pocket. I'm more of a double zipper kind of guy, but that's just my taste. Overall, once you add a few accessories, this is a mighty fine bag to tote along your camera gear. And as for the name, this is one of the nicest backpacks I've ever used. It's probably worth the $320 price tag in terms of usability, versatility, and security, though there are definitely cheaper options out there. But is it nice enough to outweigh the name of the manufacturer? I don't know. I mean, I think it's hilarious, but I have a pretty unique sense of humor. I won't rush to tell people the name of the bag maker, that's for sure. But will you? I guess that's the question we'll all need to answer for ourselves. Thanks for checking out our full review of the Ace by Douchebags. If you like this video, give it a little thumb love down below. Also, let's talk about that name. Does it bother you? Let us know down in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel and jingle that little bell for notifications whenever a new video hits the air. Once again, I'm Adam Dowd with Bored at Work, Dead Technology on Twitter, reminding you to always enjoy your entertainment.